All right, let's go right into it. Y'all see the title? Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm sitting this one out, and the first thing I wanted to do is sort of address uh, some of my followers uh, in the recent followers, or whatever, who hit me up and say, "How come you didn't get one, man? You know, you you doing that?" And so this video is really two parts. You know, I think I get caught up in trying to figure out what's the best way to do content for this platform, and I'm just gonna let it ride. So it's probably going to be a long video. So I'm going to take my time with this and, and enjoy the process and then enjoy speaking myself. I'm going to be myself. I'm going to be Dilio on my platform in my studio. I'm going to be myself and not worry about, oh, my God, you clip and say this. Right. No, we ain't going to do that. I'm going to have some fun on YouTube. I think I've spent a lot of time just really trying to make sure that I'm correct for this platform and... I'm not doing that. So, yeah, let's talk about that. Um, yes, yeah, Sakai has sent me products in the past, um, and they haven't done so in recent time. You know, there we got the MPC XSE, and before that, it was the MPC Key 61. And uh, I remember when the MPC Key 61 was announced and leaked and all that stuff. I was like, wow, they not let me know they got that or supply was low. Um, and I was like, dang, okay. And then now we got the SE, which came out and that was not, um, you know, brought to my attention. I'm like, oh, okay. Wow. Y'all really, uh, do this. But then, you know, and at, at the same time, I can't tell you that I know what happens in the offices of the Kai, you know, I'm sure their, their, their office is at a building somewhere they have their meetings. They have their Zoom meetings. You know, I see a little bit of the corporate world during my day gig. So, you know, I don't even know. I can't even speculate on that. You know, uh, we don't know who's gotten promoted. <laughs> we don't know who's got demoted. Um, what their thinking process is or what their business plan is. Don't know, you know, but I can say if I could just interject there that their marketing plan is definitely different. Um, if we look at what happened with Nam, you know, Akai was the brand I wanted to see at Nam, and there was no presence at Nam. Obviously, we know why because of the investment they made in connecting with content creators on this platform. They have turned YouTube into their Nam, uh, which probably is a least expensive move. And of course, the content creators who received their product would have been excited and elated to be a part of it. I don't know why anyone would say no. I mean, it's a great opportunity to get views and, and to continue to fortify your brand and to cater to your community or serve your community. So I think that's great. So, you know, I don't know why. Maybe it's numbers, right? I mean, I am in cool with the YouTube algorithm for a minute. I mean, you can see the content I put out and, you know, I got this large subscriber number. Um, however, a lot of my view videos don't get too many views. Um, there's not really much I can do about that at this current time because I've tried multiple different things and sometimes the algorithm hit it does sometimes it doesn't more times it doesn't than it does and it's been a challenge but it's a good time you know this type of situation is a good time to teach uh, this is a good situation to learn you know because of course your first mind is dang y'all just y'all 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 didn't snub dilio but no it's 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 not that simple it's a much more complicated thing going on. This and, and on top of that, there's so much of a bigger world going on. You know, and you know, the you know, it's it's just a reality that a brand can work with you or they change their minds and then not, or what you don't know what's going on. You know, you don't know what's going on. And I'm not gonna be upset or disappointed about that because I'm just so blessed with what I got. I'm I'm when I really sit down and take inventory about who I am and what I do and what I'm capable of and the people I've reached, um, I'm extremely blessed. And on top of that, you see this behind me. If you look at my videos a few years ago, this room was basically empty. Now look at it. You know, so I think it's important for me to count the blessings that I have to count what's going on. So, you know, with this whole thing about that, I'm going to look at it like this. I'm going to look at the situation like it's the, instead of the Grammy Awards, I'm going to call it the Akai Awards, right? And in the past, I've been nominated and I won the Akai Award. What's the Akai Award? It's the, it's being given or sent 
uh, their latest product to do content review of. You know, that's sort of like the YouTube awards. You know, you got your YouTube Silver Plaque Award, and then you got your Grammy Awards if you do music, and you got your Akai Award. And you can search this product on this platform right now on the, the date that I guess Embargo was released and see who won the Akai Award. And that's great. You know, but then I bet there's a lot of other people that felt like they should have won the Akai Award. And so, you know, it's going to be interesting. Uh, maybe I should have an award show <laughs> on my channel. Wouldn't that be funny? I should have an award channel on, 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 I should have an award show on my channel. Right. So when Akai does this again, because you know they're going to do this again, because this is their marketing strategy now. They have adapted their marketing strategy, in my opinion to more of a content creator, influencer, audience base versus a bricks and mortar NAM show thing. At least that's what it looks like for me. And so when they release another product, I could be like, okay, let's have the Akai Awards. And then I'll search everybody who got one of their new products. And I'll say, got the Akai Award, you know. I mean, I think that'd be fun, you know. Um, I don't think that would be cynical or, or, or uh, like negative in any way. I think I think I think the best thing to do is to take a situation that did not go the way you would have liked it to go, or believe it should, to turn it into some sort of fun game, you know, and make it fun, right? And so you can see who won the Akai Awards, right? And so you know, artists who's done music and who was nominated, they will be, you know, disappointed that they didn't get the nami you know, nom nomination or they didn't win again, especially if they won in the past. You know, it's sort of like a sting. But I'll tell you this right now. If I'm ever <laughs> nominated or a project I was a part of was nominated for the Grammy and I go and I didn't win, do you know how happy I would be? Now, in the past, I probably would have been upset. But you know how happy I would have been to at least been nominated or to just be at the Grammy Awards show? That's further than I've, I've ever gone, right? And on top of that, that's further than anybody I know personally. I know people who personally been to the Grammys. But I don't know someone who I can call up right now and have a casual conversation with who won. Maybe if I dug a little bit, I probably could change that. But I don't think, you know, that's what I'm saying. It's like I'm I'm more of a, I'm I'm looking at that glass on a half full level, right? So of course, artists who who love their, their craft, who make music, they love it because they love to make music. They don't do it to win Grammys, you know. So the same thing with me. I I don't make videos to win a Kai Awards. I do it because I'm passionate and I love creating music. I, I like, I like making, I was, I was making videos before, way before 2006 and YouTube came out. I was making videos and watching them by myself uh, on my own. Cause I was, I was just into making videos. I was just into making stuff before it was the thing to do, you know? So, you know, it's enabled me to, to come across individuals outside of the music production realm or people who need tracks or just, friends and things like that that I probably wouldn't reach otherwise outside of YouTube, you know? And it never fails to surprise me, the individuals who know who I am. When I went to the NAMM show, I was like, dang, you know me? You you know about me, you know? So it's not like I'm not known, you know? And, uh, and I think that's a good feeling to know that you're known. Now, here's the thing, though. The, the platform is set up, or things are in such a way that on my side of the screen, you know, a lot of people will watch me and don't really say that they do um, to the world or they don't comment. You know, you're free to watch a video and not leave a comment. So, therefore, you don't. Right. So, you know, I don't I don't. That's not why I'm on this platform. I, I think I'm still evolving why I am on this platform. But to win awards is it's cool, you know, to get to that 100 subscriber mark, you know, and it's taken me a while to do that. And I've seen people zoom past me. That's fine. Um, I still am pushing on to that, that mark, you know, and then maybe I might just start a whole new channel. Um, strictly doing reviews or something that's more niche because I've done so many different things on this platform. It's crazy. Um and, you know, I have to, again, count my blessings. The, the the success of the Chemicals preset library, I sold a lot of copies of those um, over the years. So, um, you know, I'm sort, of, I'm sort of learning to count my blessings more than to focus on what I don't have. So, no, I, I didn't get the Akai Award this time. And who knows, maybe I'll get it in the future. Um, I don't know, but it's not why I'm on this platform. I think creating, talking about the content and the gear that I love 
and making friends and just being there and being a voice in the producer community is is great and i think that's probably the thing that comes first and if i get the icing on the cake um i get the icing on the cake but if i don't um the full course meals that i serve on this platform and the experience of life that i have with the people when i really sit down to look at the blessings and take inventory of that uh it's second to none and um you know, I think sometimes as music producers and as creators, we can get really excited about the newest piece of gear, especially if we get it before anyone else. Sometimes something can be really great simply because you got it and you want to see it's great more than what it actually is. You know, you want to see it that is hot. You, uh, no, this is hot. I mean, I remember my FL Studio days and my Reason days and my Machine days and how it was very important to me to feel like I got the best piece of equipment. You know, I think when you're early on in your music production journey, some people never grow past that where it's like, I got, I got the MPC. I got the machine. I got FL studio. I, I'm on lot. You know, I'm the, I'm in the gang. I'm I MPC gang. I'm FL studio gang. And then we were all a broke gang, you know, um, we in these gangs. Right. And, um, I think that there's a bigger picture going on than the gangs we are in. Um, gang life ain't nothing but street culture life being introduced into this musical creation world. And, you know, I, and even myself, and, I, and I'm going to call myself out on this, that sometimes if I get something new, um, I or if I'm given something new, I will immediately gravitate to all the things I love about it because I'm in this honeymoon phase of having a new piece of gear and I'm totally in love with it. I'm, I'm, man, this is dope. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a super producer now, man. You know, I got, you know, and it's very easy to get caught up in that. So very easily, if things went another way, you probably would have saw me being very excited about it. But maybe the line, maybe the, the silver lining is, is that maybe now that my honey f moon phase is over with this brand, um, that now I can look at it more objectively. Uh, because like I said, when you get that new fresh, I mean, it's like a new pair of kicks, you know, you get that new pair of J's, whatever. And I think that in that you are excited about the product. You're, you're excited about the J's. You feel like a million bucks. You look in the part like, yeah, man, you know, <laughs> the J's, man, and all that. And you feel like, you feel like you're the best, you know, you feel good. I think it's cool to feel good, but it's also important to work hard. And for me, now that I caught kind of my blessings, I got, hard work to do there's still some things i need to learn that i'm not fully applying there's still some lessons i gotta apply there's still some more consistency i gotta get back to especially with doing content on this platform you know but i will tell you it's, it's it has been and it can be discouraging to to be on a platform for so long and still not really get much growth with your audience on a platform you know, the situation is real for me on and this channel. It could be damaged. I don't know. There's a lot of things going on. I don't know. There's a lot of things going on that's not under my control, you know, that I've asked other people. And then some people uh, clown me for asking them as to what's going on. Right. But that's OK, because what I do know is that I can still make things happen on this platform. So I think that's a good place to stop at this point, because I said my piece on that situation. So. So if anybody wants to ask me about why I didn't get this or that or anything in the future, refer to this video and let's refocus on what's important and let's take our minds and eyes off of what's not important. All right. So I'm glad I was able to say that. I said it the way I wanted to. I think I said it in a very grown folks, big boy pants way. And this is this is me. This is Dilio on the Dilio T2K YouTube channel. I'm out, and I'll see y'all in the next video. I might talk about the product. I might not. I'm, I'm like, yeah. All right, peace out.